Hey, what's up everybody? Back for another update. Was MIA for a couple of weeks. Had some other things I was working on related to the game, but not development. Uh, basically, trying to figure out how to get some funding for, uh, for this project. So I'm back. I had a, had a great week. Got a bunch of things prototyped. Not going to show them all today because a couple of them are pretty janky still. Need to spend more time developing them and polishing them before I'm going to show them off. But I certainly have uh, a lot of stuff, so um, at least a couple of things today. I guess we'll start. I'm pretty excited that I'm honing in on a visual style for the game. I haven't spent a lot of time focusing on the visuals yet. I'm more focused on the mechanics and the systems. But I wanted to do a brief pass and start to figure out what is the visual language, uh, especially because I think uh, people aren't giving the game enough of a look, which is understandable because of the graphics, but I'd want them to get that look so we can get more folks playing it out, offering feedback, and uh, interacting on Discord. So let's start by showing off the new shader and textures that I've added to the terrain. So let's just make a little bit of terrain here. You can see the default um, graphics a little bit different and more in line with like a retro sci-fi or retro uh, like synth wave or what's the other one vapor wave um, and, and as well as the sun up there now let's drop in some rock you see we get this nice layered texture on there added a little bit to the shader so that you get a different texture on top which i think is nice and let's drop the sun up a little bit so we can see that better Oh, also I added this planet, which is weird. Uh, this is super weird. In the build, it's different. But, uh, you know, it'll be work like where you can put it. It's kind of just this massive planet in the sky right now. But you can see it, it'll be tied to the procedural system. So you can place these things in the sky. I, I'd really like to um, look into, you know, having a day-night cycle. We'll see how that works. And I, I guess to say, like, why is, you know, I think the um, I I like the climbing mechanics, but uh, the game doesn't feel like anything yet, right? And that's part of why I'm interested in doing the sci-fi retro look. Is I is I think it'd be really nice to have a specific feeling of playing, uh, especially something you can't do otherwise. Like you know you can't climb on alien worlds, uh, which seems like a, a great. Uh, affordance of virtual reality. Um, I'm always interested in like what what can the technology do um, that's fun, but also wouldn't be possible otherwise. Anyway, that's a bit of a tangent, a little bit snooty perhaps. So let's go back to some practical matters. We've got our our new terrain here, and uh, we had grass, so we can add some grass to the top there. Oh, and I I started playing around with a plant now. Not going to put a lot of plant life in yet because um, if it's not part of, like, if it doesn't affect gameplay as a mechanic, I don't want to spend too much time early on with it. But I did want to test it. So I got this one called Bubs. And let's put Bubs on the top of there. Um, got a nice little shader going on with Bubs. And we got our plant. So let's just check this out and see what it looks like in game. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right, let's, let's go ahead and load it up. Oh, there we go, and same. So we got our nice planet over there. Got our new gradient style. Definitely a lot to do on the procedural sky, but um, I kind of I like the direction it's going in. So then we've got our graphics, and we'll climb up here. We've got our grass, and then Bubs. Uh, Bubs needs to be a higher <laughs> mesh resolution of the mesh. Some more triangles, but. Um, you know, it's getting there. And then we've got the Bub's super weird uh, tentacle coming out of the top. Uh, and then it's got a, a, a shader so that it responds to my hands. Kind of weird. Um, fun little thing there. So you get an idea of the things that I would like to do um, eventually with Plant Life. Like I'd like to have them all kind of reactive to the player. Uh, definitely embrace more of an alien world. Um, these are kind of super early prototypes of the art style, but um, 
know, I think it shows the direction. I'm really interested in folks telling me, like, you know, what are they excited about this? Do they think this is, is interesting? Was it expected? Did they expect it to go this way? Um, I know that I need to, uh, well, I desperately need a community manager, basically, because I'm really bad at communicating <laughs> Um, intention, like what I'm thinking, what the game is versus, you know, what I'm showing off. Uh, so I'm still working on, on doing a better job at that.